Oh yeah, I know. I blink a lot. <clears throat> it's. Um, I think it's the flower. Uh, flower in my eyelashes. It's down my bra and in my boots as well. I'm a baker. Well, you might say that being a baker is part of my culture. Yeah, there's um, puns. I don't really like puns, but I need the dough. I never get a rise. I don't loaf about. Uh, Chambers English Dictionary, uh, to need, it says, want of something one cannot do without. And then the need, the need, that is to work and press together in a mass. Well, that's all I've ever wanted to do, really, bring people together. Everything I learned, everything I know, I know because I wanted to know it. And I love dough. I mean, I love that it rises when I massage it. Don't. That's just awful innuendo. I had a friend who said that the Cardoma Cafe in Manchester had a sign which said, why not have a coffee and roll downstairs? Here's a quote. Bing! Love does not just sit there like a stone. It has to be made like bread and remade all the time. That's by Ursula K. Le Guin, a sci-fi writer, but I think it's quite earthy. While my dough rises, I play chess by snail post with five colleagues in five different countries. China, Russia, Burma, Peru, and Papua New Guinea. I'm passionate about chess because my father taught my brother to play but said it wasn't a game for girls. And so I plan my loaves and weigh my nuts and seeds and decide what flavors I'm going to use and the oven warms the kitchen and the sun comes up. I can, I can do bread and I can do circuses and I'm not anxious. Not, not ringside circus mind, but I can do a little magic and a little ventriloquism. I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to guide me by, that sort of thing. I'm not a unicyclist or a hiker, but I'm a passionate biker. My bike, my friend. Some people like to be in their cars listening to Classic FM. Some people like to walk with wires in their ears talking to themselves. But I just like to put my sweet loaves in my panniers, label them up, and ding dong, I'm off. I'm so free, it's like flying. I also have a passionate relationship with my farinaceous clientele. Yeah, whoever eats bread without washing of the hands, it is as though He's having intercourse with a harlot, Babylonian Talmud. I'm also passionate in a more explicit kind of a way with uh, Ralph, who's Dutch and takes a small black rye bread most days and a lot of liberties. Uh, he works from home and his wife travels a lot and basically we have herrings with dill and sex most days. Well, the day flies past. And I usually go home via my uh, girls' quilting group. And, oh, I tell them about how I passed the group of demonstrating prostitutes on the Uxbridge Road outside the police station, and I gave them some very strangely shaped cheese straws. They laughed a lot. Sometimes I do a tango class, but not always. Uh, mostly I go home and 20 minute meditation, baths, change into something outrageous and get back on my bike and go off to the comedy club, which is where I do my shtick most nights. I just tell them what I've been doing all day and they, they roar with laughter and they don't believe a word of it. I cycle back along the embankment and it's so beautiful and so quiet and if I have any leftover loaves I drop them off at the Dossers and we have a chat and then before you know it I'm home and I just fall into bed counting loaves and sleep like a warthog. My name is Marion and I'm nearer my maker because I'm a baker. Ah. <laughs>